Guys, you know, a lot of people have come out, especially Ghanaians, to accuse me of always supporting Nigerians uh, despite they do wrong about a lot of things. I am not supporting anybody. I'm trying to be like objective. I'm trying to like be patriotic a bit and then I'm trying to be like, yes, um, be impartial a bit. That is something you need to understand about this uh, whole game. I'm a Nigerian, so I see things from uh, a different direction like you seeing it uh, out of it right now and uh, you will understand that Shatawale actually raised some kind of issues that Nigerians are picking up seriously and to an extent most Nigerians quite agree with Shatawale saying that man Nigerians are not doing well enough to actually help other countries to push forth their own uh, musical industry and entertainment industry and that is one thing that a lot of people have actually raised in recent time before we proceed with this i want to take this time out to appreciate you guys for taking our time watching my videos is one big thing for me and if you are new here why don't you take our time click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos all right Richard Awale actually raised some issues I think uh, most of his points are valid to an extent but the way uh, he actually made it uh, to the public or registered that uh, kind of uh, you know um, attitude um, that kind of opinion I will not say attitude right now is something that is quite disturbing because a lot of people felt that he needed to be constructive enough to want to like you know speak on that issue and some persons are saying that he's speaking out of jealousy and inferiority complex you know to an extent i think all of these are missed up within him that is why he is actually speaking up right now some persons feel that yes he's seeking attention at the end of the day because that is what he's known for you know always trying to seek uh, you know, social media attention and uh, i think uh, to an extent most analysts in nigeria uh, actually understand what shadawale is talking about and saying that men nigerians or uh, nigerian artists they need to do more promoting uh, you know other uh, not only Ghanaian artists other countries uh, African countries artists and I think uh, this is what we are actually doing gradually um, recently Bonaboy was uh, at a live concert in Lagos did uh, brought out um, you know, a particular black sheriff from Ghana and that was really appreciated and black sheriff even spoke about that saying that man I really love you guys I love Nigeria Nigeria we are all one and the rest and i think that is the best way to go and also um whiskey was at the o2 arena brought out king promise and that is the best way to go and that video to an extent you know have actually supported the uh, uh, stone boy and they've supported each other i think that is the best way to go but right now some people are looking at it like because um Shatawale himself is not getting enough support from these guys i think uh, what have actually affected Shatawale and most african artists is the attitude of Shatawale. that is one thing that have actually affected him to an extent and he needs to you know watch it and start living a better life and true to himself because a lot of people will not want to associate their musical craft act with somebody who is such a kind of uh, temperamental and um, you know so who, who behaves like Shatawale at the end of the day and uh, I think uh, some people in Ghana right now they are accusing the likes of Sakodi, uh, Stoneboy and other people for associating with Nigerians that is not the best way to go boycotting shows being headlined by Nigerians in uh, Ghana is not going to help any bit all you have to do right now is to find a way to push forth your act out there you know I listen to um, Sakodi 
is in a song called a freestyle section, a freestyle song called a Free Press. And he did spoke a lot about Ghanaian music industry and entertainment industry at the time, saying that when they go out there like uh, the BBC Awards, the Grammy Awards, and other things, you hardly see um, Ghanaian um, you know, writers, creators, press actually supporting um, their own art. And that is also a point to actually raise to an extent. And I think uh, we need to, you know, holistically find a lasting solution to this. How do we solve the problem? First of all, the Ghanaian press, the Ghanaian, uh, you know, musical stakeholders, entertainment stakeholders, they need to come to play. They need to find a way to resolving the issue, trying to put forth their acts. And uh, I think that is uh, the best way to go. Uh, already, most people in Nigeria, they are doing that already. And uh, I think that is given advantage to Nigeria than any other country in terms of, uh, you know, music, in terms of entertainment right now. And uh, I think we have to actually understand it from there. Yes, looking at col collaborations with Nigerians, you will understand that Nigerians have actually collaborated far and wide enough with a lot of uh, you know African artists, uh, Diamond Platinums. We have uh, Fali Pupa. We have um, you know VRP. We have uh, Stoneboy. We have uh, Becca. We have Giaki. We have a lot of others. We have AKA. We have um, you know uh, Nasty C and a lot of others. These guys are actually uh, you know lovers of Nigerian creative industry. And uh, I think uh, they've earned a lot of respect from that. The, like, uh, the likes of Sakodi uh, spoke that about uh, Nigeria, saying that, yes, Nigeria actually helped to kind of uh, push his uh, creative uh, act, uh, which is uh, getting the fruit for right now, and is forever grateful to Nigeria. And what is your own take about all of this? I think uh, we need to find a way to start loving ourselves again, especially Ghana, uh, Ghanaians who are supposed to be our neighbors. You know, when I check what they write on social media, I think we don't need all of this. We don't need to call out ourselves. All we need to do is to build a, a, a successful uh, kind of uh, industry uh, in Africa. And doing that, we have to first of all love ourselves, love our creative arts individually, love our uniqueness, and then make do with it. What is your own take about all of this story? Before I jump off, I want you guys to kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not subscribed, if you are new here. And I'm taking out time to appreciate all of you guys for taking out time, supporting me, watching my videos, commenting, liking. That is a great one from me to you guys. I love you guys. Keep supporting Frequency.